decided to give you guys a Melly Bug. <laughs> a Melly Bug series. Wait, let me do it again. I have decided to give you guys a Melly Bug series. This is day one after me doing my first treatment, and I came and I took a peek to see if I see anything, and some things are back. I just realized I didn't do an intro and that's kind of rude. So, what's up, what's up, what's up, my beautiful, beautiful people? Welcome back to my channel, Plants Locks Books. Before we get started, y'all already know what I'm going to say. Make sure you like, make sure you comment, make sure you hit that subscribe, uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button and make sure that notification bell is turned on. That way you're notified each and every single time your girl posts a video. So, I remember watching, who was it that I was watching a while ago? It was when she was getting the mailie bugs off of a cactus. Plant me Ashley this was probably a few months ago and I remember her cleaning off a cactus with mealy bugs and they had a lot of mealy bugs but I remember her using a q-tip and getting them off with some alcohol so I just tested one and I did it and I kind of freaked out a little bit but you know what I found that was very interesting they turn brown for some reason when you put them in the alcohol is that weird or what I found that to be a tad bit fascinating I don't know why but I'm still really scary because it's a bug, and y'all know I don't like bugs, but let's go and tackle them. Do not, do not, do not, do not judge me, okay? I'm, I, I, I'm a little scaredy cat, I'm gonna be honest. I'm not sure if you guys can see it, but if you look really closely, right there on the tip of that leaf. I think that's one. Can you see that? I think it's one, so we're gonna see. So what you wanna do is get your Q-tip wet with some alcohol, and then I take the cap, pour some in. That way, once I get it, oops, I could drown it in the alcohol. Oop, oop, it's spilling, it's spilling. Several days later. We are back for the Mary Bug series. The first time we did this, we used neem oil. However, we're going to switch it up. So today, we're going to be using rubbing alcohol and a bit of dish detergent. What I am going to do is fill this spray bottle up with majority of water. I'm going to pour a little bit of alcohol in here, as you can see. There isn't much in there anyway, so I'm going to mix that with the water. And then I'm going to put just probably a drop of just soap, not too much. We are then going to spray that down, let it sit on the plant for a few minutes, and wash it off the same way we did with the neem oil.
sit on there for five to ten minutes, come back, rinse it off. A few moments later. Pick it up to get it rinsed off good like I want. It has been a couple, maybe a week. I don't know. Honestly, I'm so bad with time. So if I said things happened a long time ago, nine times out of ten, it did not happen a long time ago. If I said something happened last week, nine times out of ten, it probably happened two days ago. <laughs> Just don't, don't even mind when I say stuff happened because honestly, my timelines don't be accurate whatsoever. But anyway, I treated this pothos not too long ago. As you guys know, we are dealing with mealybugs. The first thing I did to treat it was I just sprayed it with neem oil. Oil. The second thing I did to treat it was I sprayed it down with a mixture of alcohol, dish soap, and water. And then in between those treatments, I have just been eyeing the plant, making sure I don't see anything. If I do see anything, I would just take a Q-tip, dab it in some alcohol, and then just wipe it off the ugh, wipe off the mealy bug with the Q-tip like that. So I have been doing that for quite some time. I do want to say that some progress is being made. I feel like a lot of progress is being made. Number one, I remember telling you guys that I was having one yellow and leaf after the next, but I haven't had any yellow and leaves since taking off the first set of yellow, yellow leaves that y'all have seen in the previous clip. I haven't had any more yellow and leaves, which is definitely, definitely a good sign. I do come and I look at this plant every day. I would say that I I have been having to wipe off some bugs. Like I'll go and I'll wipe them off and then I'll come back and then I, mean, I, I might see maybe one or two. Or oh, it's probably just honestly the ones that I missed when I went to wipe it off the first time. But we are definitely making a lot of progress. I don't really know which one worked for me. So I'm just gonna use both of them to see because maybe the maybe using both of them is helping the problem. But my tip is if you ever come across a, a plant that has any pest on it, I would say treat it immediately, act on it right away. So make sure you stay consistent with it. Hold on y'all, let me turn the oven on. Make sure you are treating it because the more you allow the problem to sit, the bigger it's going to become and the harder it's going to get with getting rid of it. So that's the same thing I did when I noticed that I saw some, what I thought to be spider mites. What Was it spider mites I thought it was? Spider mites web, right? Yeah, because it's a spider, duh. Anyways, <laughs> when I thought I had spider mites, well, I don't think, I think I just caught it very, very, very early on, but when I saw that i immediately started treating it and i did not play any games and i haven't had any problems since and then the same thing with this pothos i seen that there was a problem i freaked out for a little bit but then i got over it and i have been treating it ever since because you don't want it to ruin get on any of the other plants and then it spreads into a bigger problem or you just don't want it to get so big to a big uh, you just don't want it to become so big of a problem that it actually ends up killing your plants because that's what these bugs do they eat at your at the roots of the plants at the leaves and all of that and then it causes for your plants to start to die and you'll start to see signs of them having yellow and leaves so just make sure to treat pest immediately don't let it sit don't say oh i'm going to wait till the next day because by tomorrow it could be way worse that is my best advice when dealing with pests make sure to get on it and treat it right away this is going to be the last treatment i'm going to do for this plant for right now because i don't want to do too much i don't want to ruin my plant i don't want it to to i don't want the chemicals or whatever to cause my leaves to get of ruined or anything of that nature so i'm gonna give it some time and let it sit let it rest and then if i have to i will treat it again but i think this is as far as this video will go 
I hope you guys enjoyed this little series. I hope you guys enjoyed like this little, I don't even wanna call it a series cause this is just one video on how I treated Millie Bugs. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, let me know by leaving a like. Let me know that by commenting down below. Also, let me know what kind of videos you guys would like to see. If you wanna see me do more shopping videos, more DIY type of videos, let me know that down in the comment section below. Also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Make sure the notification bell is turned on. That way you're notified each and every single time girl, your girl posts a video. And with that being said, I will catch you beautiful people in my next video.